Hi everyone, Flaming Footy here and welcome or welcome back to another YouTube video on the channel and today guys, here we are for another and the final AFL 2022 match review of the 2022 AFL season. Now just for clarification before we start, there will be no um, match re well, round review on Tuesday because this is the review so there's no other review coming. This is the last one of the year. There's going to be different, different types of reviews coming in the near future but not any more game reviews because this is the last game of the season. Now, in this video, it's not just going to be a review. It is also going to be including the margin comp winner from the 2022 AFL Grand Final tipping um, margin comp as well, as well as just a big review of everything that happened in the Grand Final. So let's go ahead and hop right into things, and we're going to be starting off by looking at the game. Then the margin comp winner will be a little bit later on in the video. Scenes at the mighty MCG as a crowd of over 100,000 100, people attend the MCG to watch the 2022 AFL Grand Final between the best two teams in the business of the 2022 AFL uh, season, which was Geelong and Sydney. Geelong, they had come off a really impressive win over Brisbane and the Swans had just snuck home against the Pies. And of course, these two teams met in the grand final and it went, well, pretty different to how I had planned or how I would thought, but um, other people did actually pretty much go pretty close to where this one was uh, at the margin of 81 points. Uh, Geelong 20, 13, 133, smash Sydney 8, 452. The scoring shots are 33 to 12. You can see there. And it was right from the opening bounce. The Swans um, didn't have any momentum in the game at all. And the Cats just... Well, at quarter time, six goals to one. It was almost over at quarter time. Um, second quarter, the Cats just extended their lead. Not by a lot, but they did. Um, and then in that third quarter, that's where the party starts. The Swans kick it behind. The Cats end up kicking um, six goals that quarter. Six goals to naught. The game's over then. The game is over at three-quarter time. Uh, any people that had faith in the Swans at half time, their hope was gone by three-quarter time. And then at full time, it was a four-goal last quarter for the Swans, who made a little bit of something in that last quarter to avoid their score from being absolutely embarrassing to still not great, but they did at least change it up a little bit for their sakes. And then, um, yeah, the Cats just went on to go and hit the 130s uh, in the end. Now, Norm Smith medalist was Isaac Smith. Congratulations to Isaac Smith from the Geelong Cats for his best on-ground performance. Uh, 32 disposals and 147 fantasy. Tyson Stengel with the four goals. He was one of the pickups of the season. And this is unbelievable to see like what sort of a footballer he was for um, the Adelaide Crows when he had all those um, scandals and all that a few years ago to where he is now. Um, the All-Australian team, a premiership winner now, um, and having a great mentor in Eddie Betts, one of the best uh, goal kickers you'll ever see in the competition, is really amazing to see how this man has transformed. and He's become one of the most dangerous forwards in the competition. Four goals for him today. Four goals again for him today. Another brilliant performance for Tyson Stengel. Um, and they got him for free as well, so the Cats would be very happy with that pickup uh, to add a little bit more youth to their list as well, like where you've also got De Koning as another one of those really younger players that really did take another big step today. De Koning's been another really good player as well. He's been able to play in some really big moments and stand up in some really big games um, as De Koning this year too. And Luke Parker, the 14 tackles, and I did speak about in the preview how Sydney do like to tackle. Now, before I go ahead and go into team stats, I want to mention the team lineups obviously this is quite a important game so we've got the umpires we're going to go to them first uh we had Simon Meredith Matt Stevick and Brendan Hosking uh umpiring the game medical substitute both of them were used in the end Brandon Parfit and Braden Campbell for the Cats and the Swans uh and then uh we'll go from the defense line first so for the Cats they had Deconing uh Henry Kolejasny Stewart, well, sorry, you know, we're going to go Swans first, actually, because they were the team that lost. So we're going to start with them first. Um, so in their defense line, they had Lloyd, Rampy, McCartan, Florent, Fox, Blakey in the middle now. Stevens, McInerney, Parker. Now the forward line, Heaney, Reed, Papley, Hayward, Franklin, and Clark. Reed ended up being subbed off. A bit of a risky call to use him. Franklin got his hands on absolutely nothing either. Uh, and then on the interchange bench, they had McCartan, Warner, McLean, Goulden. 
surprising that they used McLean over um, Logan McDonald. McLean did take a nice one hand earlier on in the game. Hickey, Rowbottom and Mills were the followers. So now to the Premiership winning Cats, which of course had no Max Holmes in the back line. They had De Koning, Henry, Kolejasny, Stewart, Tui Buse. In the middle, they had Blitzarves, O'Connor, Duncan. And then the forward line, they had Close, Cameron, Smith, Stengel, Hawkins, and Rowan. Smith playing like a high half forward role to go up into the midfield as well. Uh, on these transplants, they had Selwood, Atkins, Myers, Guthrie, which is Zach Guthrie that time. And then the followers, Stanley, Dangerfield, Guthrie, which is Cam Guthrie. And then, of course, their medical substitute as in Brandon Parfitt. So now I'm going to go to the AFL Fantasy, have a look at how things played out there, which, yes, you can see why. A really good performance by Zach Smith, 147 fantasy, three goals, one. 32 disposals, 23 of them kicks, 9 of them handles, 12 marks, 2 tackles. Uh, he really did it all and had a really good disposal efficiency of 84%. Hitting those targets can be really crucial sometimes. Well, can be crucial all the time. Mitch Duncan, 126 fantasy as well for him. 113 for Selwood, Warner, Parker. Uh, and again, if, if the Swans had won, I reckon it would have been Chad Warner that probably would have taken the Brownlow or Luke Parker that would have, uh, not the Brownlow, that would have taken the Norm Smith medal. Uh, 111 for Blitzarves, 95 for Cameron, 94 for Dangerfield. So now to the goals and behinds. Tyson Stengel had four goals, one. Hawkins actually kept the Swans in it, and they were lucky to lose by 81. He had three goals, four did Tom Hawkins. He could have easily, easily had a bag of five today. Isaac Smith, three goals as well, two for Cameron, close Warner. Um... Disposals now, 32 for Smith, 29 for Warner, 27 for Duncan, uh, 27 for Dangerfield, 26 for Selwood and Fox. Now, I just want to talk. I'm going to go to the losing side just real quick. Chad Warner, I haven't really talked about him too much this year, but I feel like he, he's he got the role of a small forward and a midfielder all in one, and that's, that's a really good ability to have. Uh, he's very exciting around the footy, and yeah, if the Swans had a one, I reckon he would have claimed the Norm Smith today for sure. Um, he was really good, and I reckon this man has the capability of winning a Brownlow one day. He's going to be a, a superstar, and he's still really young, so he's he's one of the most exciting players at the Swans, if not one of them, probably the most, to be completely honest, is Chad Warner. 13 marks for Duncan, 12 for Smith, 11 for Collard Jasney, 8 for Selwood and Cameron, 7 for DeConing. Again, DeConing steps up in some really good... Big moments, another one of Geelong's younger players. 14 tackles for Luke Parker, by far the most on the ground. Then the next was eight for Blitzarves, seven for Atkins. We know Atkins does it a lot. Six for Warner, Rowbottom and Heaney. Now the hit out, 27 for Stanley, 21 for Hickey, 15 for Blitzarves, three for McLean, two for, uh, two for Hawkins. Uh, and now to the team stats now is where we're going. And look... You can just see inside 50, 65 to 32. The Cats just went inside 50 way more times, and they just they just had repeat entries. And every time the Swans tried to get it out of there, it just came straight back in. Their defense was so well set up. In fact, there's no holes in this side. This side is almost the um, perfect side in AFL football, really. I can't see. There's not really a lot wrong with this side. Yes, they're aging, but, oh boy, their aging superstars are not to be messed with. You can think that they're an older side, but they're really not. Their winning streak also now goes to 16 in a row, and they're going to take that into next year as well, are the Cats, which is going to be something really good for them as well. And the Swans actually, believe it or not, won the, won the clearances, but it's getting it out of there, which can be the problem. You can go into the 50 all you like, but then you've got DeConing, um, and then Stuart, Tui, all, all of them back there, which are going to take marks. And actually, another note is Tui playing his 250th game in a grand final for the Geelong Cats, and he'll be walking away one happy person for sure. Uh, and then contested possession and uncontested possessions. The Cats were all over the Swans as well in those areas too. Uh, marks, 124-62. to Marks inside 50, 17-4 to in favour of Geelong. They were just all over the Sydney Swans, like literally all over the Swans. Um, they led the whole game. Their biggest lead was 87 points, but it was a monstrous win for this Geelong side. They, they are a ripping team, and yes, they're, they're, um, they might have to go into a little bit of a reset mode in the next couple of years, but oh boy, they, I reckon they'll be here again next year, and I reckon they're going to go again hard. This, this list at this time right now is absolutely perfect, the Cats, and, um, this is a brilliant premiership win, 
there's been plenty of players that have wanted a premiership at Geelong, and they they've been the best team this year. That's that's definitely my opinion. I'm not sure what other people thought, but I feel like by some sort of a margin, and they won this game by 81 points just to just to stamp that to let everyone know that they are the best team and they have been the best team this year. Hence why they're on a winning streak of 16 games. Now, though, I did tell you, of course, I was going to go ahead and let you know who the margin comp winner was. It was Shannon Humphreys, who actually didn't even go that big. Uh, we didn't have anyone on the margin comp that actually went over 33 points, which was the winner. Shannon Humphreys said, cats by 33. North Smith Mayor, Tom Hawkins or Jeremy Cameron, which um, Shannon didn't get that one. But the margin is what we're all after. That's what we wanted. I didn't necessarily say they had to put in the Norm Smith tip. Uh, I don't think anyone said Isaac Smith anyway. Bit of a surprise there, but... Isaac Smith, full credit to him as well. But shout out to Shannon Humphreys, who was the closest to the correct margin. And I did go ahead and tip Geelong as well. So that is how the finals fixture did end up playing out of season 2022, the AFL finals. So that is how things went of the 2022 AFL finals series. So the Cats win the 2022 AFL Premiership. They have been around this uh, spot many, many, many times. This year they did deserve it. The most recent grand final they played in was 2020, but they were again hanging around late next uh, last year as well. And this year they do finally get their taste of glory for those of the Cats that didn't play in the 2011 Premiership. So the Swans, they are left absolutely in heartbreak as they couldn't quite they did disappoint um their fans you could say um sadly enough for them today but the cats do win the 2022 afl premiership season captain joel selwood coach chris scott we're gonna leave it there thank you guys all so much for watching make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell sending you guys and then miss another video on the channel thank you guys all so much for watching bye everyone flaming footy out